You have to stop following step-by-step -step tutorials. They are the reason why you cannot progress as an artist. I know this because even after taking a year of classes with Andy Evenson, my watercolors did not improve that much. So in this video, I want to share with you why that is, why these courses and tutorials create bad habits, they stagnate your progress and what you should do to avoid developing these bad habits and continue to progress in your work. And the reason why all of this happens might surprise you. Most of us, when we start out, we seek guidance on whatever we want to learn. But while this is okay at the start of our journey, there is a time when we have to let this go. And I don't mean that you have to stop learning, but I will talk more about that later. Knowing when to move on is the first trap that we face when following these types of tutorials. The way that we know when to move on is simple, and that is right after you're done with that course, because you've already acquired the information that you need to practice what you learned. But even more importantly than knowing when to move on is to know when you have to find another tutorial on the same topic. When the information that was presented was not clear to you, then you have to find someone, some person that will teach in a way that you understand. In my case, that's why I chose the workshop with Andy Evenson for a whole year, because his method of learning and teaching was really good and really much to the point, which is something that I really appreciate. But even though his teaching style really suited me, there were three things that really held me back. While I did see a big jump in my skills because of his step-by-step -step methods, one other thing became very apparent to me, which at first I didn't mind at all because it is the reason why I chose to learn from Andy in the first place. And that is that my paintings, no matter what I was trying to paint, would look like his paintings. Of course, in a much less skillful way. And this is a little bit obvious because I am following a step-by-step -step method, right? But that is not the only thing that was going wrong with this type of learning. This next thing I didn't actually realize right away. It took me quite a while, about like six months to realize that I was doing this pretty much subconsciously. And there's a chance that you actually have never thought about this before. Because when we're learning from these step-by-step -step methods, it's kind of like being under a hypnosis and we're just doing exactly what we're told. The way that I realized that I was doing this or having this problem was that when I was trying things that were not in the step-by-step -step guides or just things that I was inspired by in the everyday life or going out to paint, is that when I tried to apply his methods to my everyday work, Sometimes it just didn't fit. It kind of felt like trying to put a square peg in a round hole. The problem was that I was so fixating on his method that I was trying to apply it to anything and everything I did. And it just doesn't always work out how I want it to. And this made me realize the last thing that we're gonna talk about, which is the most important skill for anyone who wants to improve in their artwork, as well as know how to develop their own style. So after I realized that Andy's method wasn't really working out for me, at least not in the order that he teaches it, I started experimenting with it. Think about it this way, if his step method was a 5 step method, instead of going 1 to 5, I would sometimes start in number 2 and then go to number 4 and then number 1 and then number 3 and finish with 5. In fact, the methods that I use today, I kind of mix match some of the steps that I've learned from several sources. And that is the one thing that following step-by-step -step tutorials never teach you. And that is, you're never allowed to think for yourself. Your mind goes into autopilot and you're just copying what the master is doing. And there is one last thing I want to say about these tutorials. They aren't bad at all. I love learning from Andy Evenson, but in the beginning of this video I told you that my watercolors didn't improve.